a restaurant called Bourguet, which is just near, uh, just near us, about five minutes walk from here, and a charity or a community interest company called Beyond Food. Um, and uh, I, I was asked to talk about my, a bit about my career so far, because I was an apprentice um, at the Savoy Hotel. I've been, I was very lucky because I had a, um, great parents, were really supportive, especially as my exam results felt fudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a colouring sort of theme, I suppose. <laughs> um, so I left school um, with a bit of a cloud of smoke, you should say, I should say, um, and I joined the Royal Academy of Culinary Arts um, Specialised Chef Programme and was an apprentice at the Savoy. Um, I went on to work for Tune Glen, um, luxury cruise ships, Saudi Prince as a personal chef, and ended up working for Anton Bos Bosman, running part of his business. Um, I then went to work for an FMCG company, which was a uh, Unilever, and I became their culinary ambassador. So uh, the hospitality in industry can really give you, you know, some great experiences. Um, but I always wanted to run my own business, and that was the end game for me. Um, and then the tsunami happened in 2004, and I, uh, my life completely changed, so I was very lucky. I had a little child at that point, and just wanted to do something a bit different and give something back. Rather than just send some money, I decided, in my impotent wisdom, to fly over the day after the tsunami happened. And I started a relief camp, which is still going today, and it helps an awful lot of people in a very, very bad time. Um, on my return, I realised that the, my ability as a chef was I could inspire and motivate people in a very different way. Um, and so I started to think about what I would do. Um, and I um, really kind of worked a frustration of people not only became homeless but stayed homeless. Um, and I decided to do something about that. Um, at the same point, I, I started my own business. Always a good thing to do, set some challenge <laughs> while he was starting a business. But I um, actually um, was one of the founders at the House St. Barnabas. I'm very proud of the work they, they continue to do there. But I, I started an events company. Um, and as it grew, we started to, to produce really amazing um, understanding of how to inspire and motivate people out of their vulnerable situation. And, and more importantly, how to get them into jobs. Um, and that's something that we continue today. Um, as all business, um, young business people at the time, I needed money, so I thought it was a really good idea to go on Dragon's Den and basically pull my trousers down in front of the whole nation. <laughs> and, uh, and no, I didn't get any money. <laughs> but I did get a lot of love from the Dragons and a lot of help, and I um, eventually did get some money. I got over just over a million pounds to start my business, which if you go over to Brigade, you'll, you'll experience. In 2011, we, we moved to Brigade, uh, which is the oldest fire station in the city of London, and we set up the On Food Foundation, and we've now worked with over a thousand homeless people and employed 101 in, in full time at, at, in the restaurant. So we're starting to understand what it takes to become um, to make that difference, and, and what a difference it makes. It's not just the one person; it's a whole group of people that are around that one person, um, from from job centre advisors all the way through to support workers, key workers, friends, and family. Um, it's just, it just makes an enormous difference. Um, and I feel quite a selfish person, I'll be honest, because actually I get an awful lot of um, enthusiasm and inspiration and feel great going to work in the morning knowing that we make a difference. And so I, I, a lot of people sort of say, well, it's amazing what you do. It's actually, I just feel really, really selfish because actually they inspire me on a daily basis. That's not to say it's easy, it's not easy, but it is, but it is a, it's a great thing to, to be able to do.